the apprentice of Zeus, in the celestial realm of Mount Olympus, where the gods and goddesses ruled over the world with their mighty powers. There was a young demigod named Ezin, born of mortal blood yet blessed with divine heritage. Ezin was the apprentice of the mighty Zeus, the ruler of the gods. From a tender age, Ezin exhibited exceptional prowess and a deep affinity for the elements, catching the attention of the Thunderer himself. Ezin's training under Zeus was both rigorous and enlightening. He learned to wield the power of lightning, to command storms, and to understand the intricate balance of nature. But beyond the mere manipulation of elements, Zeus imparted upon Ezin the importance of wisdom, justice, and compassion. As the years passed, Ezin grew into a formidable young demigod, his skills rivaling those of his divine mentor. Yet, despite his prowess, Ezin remained humble, ever aware of the vastness of the cosmos and the responsibilities that came with his abilities. One fateful day, a great calamity befell the mortal realm. A monstrous creature, born of chaos and darkness, emerged from the depths of Tartarus, threatening to engulf the world in eternal shadow. Cities trembled, forests withered, and despair spread like wildfire across the land. Born from the primordial void that existed before the creation of the world, it was a creature devoid of form or substance, a swirling mass of shadows and malevolent energy. Its presence alone was enough to instill fear and despair in the hearts of mortals and immortals alike. Wherever it went, life withered and decayed, the very essence of existence consumed by its insatiable hunger for destruction. Legend spoke of the creature as the harbinger of apocalypse, a manifestation of the darkest depths of the cosmos seeking to engulf the world in eternal shadow. Its origins were shrouded in mystery, lost to the annals of time, but its malevolent intent was unmistakable. Zeus, recognizing the magnitude of the threat, called upon Ezin to accompany him on a quest to vanquish the creature and restore balance to the world. Together, they embarked on a perilous journey, traversing realms both mortal and divine, facing trials and tribulations beyond mortal comprehension. Their journey led them to the very heart of Tartarus, where the creature's power was at its peak. Ezin stood alongside Zeus, his heart pounding with a mixture of fear and determination. But as they confronted the creature, Ezin realized that victory could not be achieved through sheer strength alone. Remembering the lessons of his mentor, Ezin tapped into his inner wisdom and compassion, seeking to understand the source of the creature's darkness. With empathy in his heart, he reached out to the creature, offering solace and understanding in place of conflict and destruction. To Ezin's astonishment, the creature responded to his kindness, its malevolent aura diminishing with each word of compassion. Slowly but surely, the darkness receded, revealing a wounded soul yearning for redemption. With the creature's darkness dispelled, Ezin and Zeus guided it back to the realm of the gods, where it could find peace and healing among the celestial beings. And as they returned to Mount Olympus, victorious yet humbled by their experience, Ezin realized the true meaning of his apprenticeship under Zeus. It was not merely about mastering the elements or wielding power, but about using that power for the greater good, about understanding the complexities of the universe and embracing empathy and compassion in the face of adversity. In the years that followed, Ezin continued to serve as Zeus's apprentice, but now he did so not only as a student of lightning and storms, but as a beacon of hope and compassion for both mortal and immortal alike. And though his journey was far from over, Ezin knew that with Zeus's guidance and the lessons he had learned, he would always strive to be a force for good in the world, a true heir to the legacy of the Thunderer himself.